Fabio Silva has famously been really, really good in Football Manager over the past few versions. He's been a wonder kid in the game. Today's video is going to be seeing what we can do with that, seeing if we can do a bit of a challenge. Can we win Fabio Silva a Ballon d'Or in FM22? Let's go and find out. Hello and welcome back to another FM22 video on the channel. My name is Clates and today we're going to do a bit of a challenge. Previously, we've done a few simulations. We've looked forward in the game to see, first of all, how Wolves did in five years. Then we saw how they did if we gave them a massive transfer budget. We gave them Newcastle's budget. And then most recently, we put them in the Portuguese Premier League to see how they would do over there. And th they did very well in that video. If you've not watched those, then I'm sure you can find them on the channel. Go back and watch them. Today, though, as I mentioned, it's going to be a bit more of a challenge. We are going to take Fabio Silva. You see him here. Look, here is his attribute, his profile at the start of the game. We're going to take our 19 year old Portuguese striker and it's going to take a bit of me playing the game setting things up maybe doing some tactics can we create the best circumstances the best environment for Fabio Silva to go and win the Ballon d'Or the best player in Europe it's not going to be easy however we are working with a striker here that is he's got great potential in the game we know that he's usually pretty good in FM and we're going to have to try and make Wolves really really good winning titles maybe qualifying for the Champions League to see if it is possible for Fabio Silva to be named the best player in Europe. The first thing that we are going to do to try and make this possible is to set up the team for the first season, get Fabio Silva starting in that striker role, work out what his best role is going to be for these attributes and maybe do some transfers to set us up to go on. So I'm going to go to the end of the transfer window before the first game of the season and I'll show you what we're going to be working with. Let's go to there. Okay, so the first thing that I have done to hopefully get the wheels in motion for this challenge is to set up the team and set up a system that puts Fabio Silva as the main man. He's going to play as a central striker in a front three that includes Raul Jimenez to his left and then also Adama Traore to his right. We've seen Traore used like this in a few simulations that we've done. So I thought, you know what? We're going to try it. I think this system, which is I like to call the spanner, is something that will get the most out of Fabio Silva. It's before the first game of the season here. He's going to start every game this year. Hopefully scoring a few goals will help him develop and we can go from there. I'm not expecting him to win the Ballon d'Or first season. Maybe third, fourth, fifth season, we can get him to get to that point. This though is how we're going to run for the first season. I'm going to see you at the end of this season so we can see how he does. I'll see you then. Okay, so season one has been completed and we've managed to finish six in the league in our first season, which is a very comfortable, very, it's a nice start right? It's probably what you'd want to see. Most importantly, though, is that we've qualified for Europe. We do. It's a small step in the right direction. We do need to probably get into that Champions League quite soon because the Ballon d'Or is very heavily influenced by what you can win as a player. There's a reason, right, why Jorginho finished so high up in the rankings in the Ballon d'Or this year. But there are some good signs for the future. Fabio Silva has managed to score 25 league goals. He is second only to Romelu Lukaku in the goal standings this year. It's a good start for this challenge. He's now 19, well, he's still 19 at this stage. You see, we've got these nice up arrows on his profile. I have been doing all of the tactics, trying to spam the ball to him as much as possible. And he is scoring plenty of goals. Look at this tactic we've got him in at the moment as the main man in this very wacky, I've called it the overload, a 4-2-1-3 system. We've got decent players to do it, by the way. I've signed a few players and I'm going to continue signing players in uh, in the game as well to hopefully just set things up to make Wolves really good but also to make him keep scoring goals it's a really good start to the season I actually wonder if he might win some awards based on like maybe the golden boy award based on how good he's been first season but what I'm going to go and do next is set the team up maybe do some summer transfers ready for season number two and hopefully we can go even better next year and get even closer to making this a reality I think it's possible based off this start I think it's possible. I'll see you after I've done some transfers and we start season number two. Okay, here we are then, ready to start season number two. I just want to show you the transfers that I've made to hopefully continue to turn Wolves into a powerhouse. Hopefully this year is the year that we can qualify for the Champions League. Here you see the January transfers that I made, the big one being Pedro Conchalves. You saw him in that last little part there. We made Huang Hee Chan's loan permanent. We also brought in Dan Axel Zagadou because he's great from set pieces. Here are the summer window transfers. Renato Sanchez brought in... Adeyemi, Mancini, Lovakovic, and Calvin. There were some, some players sold as well, of course. I'll show you the biggest ones there, just so you can have a quick look. This has set the team up, ready to go for another season. I think I'm going to continue with this system. We seem to get more goals out of him as he was in this system. Very, very attacking, as you can see by the four, almost four strikers there. He plays through the middle. I'm hoping this is going to be the year where he scores even more goals. Maybe we can qualify for that Champions League. I will see you at the end of the season 
to show you how we get on. Right, big news. Big news indeed. We have managed to finish third in season two. You saw the signings I've made. I made one or two more in January as well. I'll make sure I catch you up on those. But those signings has led to us finishing third in the Premier League in season number two. 89 points. We were only five points off away from winning that league title this year. As you can also see, Fabio Silva, our man here, hoping to win the Ballon d'Or, has scored 35 goals all competitions. But even more importantly, perhaps, is the fact that he is the current golden ball boy winner in this universe. He has beaten the, I don't know who else is in there, but Musiala won it last year. Haaland the year before that. It's Fabio Silva this year now at 20 years old. 46 appearances, 42 goals in the calendar year. He's well on his way, I think, to winning this Ballon d'Or. Hopefully that can continue. He's actually wanted now by Arsenal. We're not going to sell him. We're going to hold on to him, hopefully anyway. There you see his goal record this year. 38 appearances, 28 goals, 10 assists, 7.29 average rating. Perhaps worth mentioning, actually. It's not just the goal scoring that is going to win him this Ballon d'Or. It's the average ratings. I had a look, actually. If we have a look at the, I think it's called the Golden Ball look in the game. The Golden Ball Awards... Lewandowski's won it. He's got a 7.73, 7.32, 7.56. So perhaps in terms of average rating, we've got a little bit further to go. I'm hoping though, as he develops and turns into an even better player, as you can see by, by, I mean, look at his profile here. He is getting better. You've got one or two green attributes on here. Now his dribbling, composure has gone up, his agility, yellow arrows though, going up all the time. He is developing. What I'm going to do now, now that we are in the Champions League, now that we've finished season number two, is we're going to jump forward to the start of next season so I can show you the transfers and show you the plan. I think maybe it's possible in this next season. I'll see you then. All right, so as we prepare for season number three here, then I just want to show you the transfers once again, because a big part of this, there's kind of two sides to this challenge, isn't there? There's making Fabio Silva be able to score goals, but then there's also making sure that us as a club are good enough to go and challenge in the best competition. So transfers is a big part of that. Here are some more transfers that I've made. Some real wonder kids are brought in like Sesco, Fafana. Uh, Nunes is really good in game as well. He's big and tall and strong and fast. Also, Otavia, Tavares. We're sticking with the Portuguese. By the way, I don't know if you've seen it, but actually it is one of the club culture objectives is that you have to sign Portuguese players. I'm struggling slightly on that, so I'm going to go and need to sign a few more as well after this. This was the season before. This season, I've also signed these four players, Chilwell, Rice, Livramento and Eddie Nketiah on loan. Livramento, by the way, did you know that he's a Portuguese second nationality? So I don't know if that helps with the objective. Hopefully it does. We've spent a big amount of money on these players all of them, I'm hoping, are going to make us a better team. I'll show you the tactic here. Look, I've reverted back to the to the spanner, the first tactic that I showed you. Silver through the middle, Adeyemi Nunes, Sanchez, Rice, Calvin. Of course, actually, something I do want to show you. Ruben Neves, he's suspended here. If Fabio Silva doesn't win the Ballon d'Or, I've got a feeling that... Ruben Neves might. Look at his average rating. He is getting so many assists from set pieces mainly. But 7.61 average rating from Ruben Neves. If Fabio doesn't win it, then Ruben may well do. This is how we go in season number three. We're going to go to the end of the season. Maybe even a little bit further up until the Ballon d'Or is awarded. I think it's awarded right at the end of December. So I might go all the way till then and uh, we can find out. Is he going to do enough this year? to win that Ballon d'Or award. Look at this goal scoring so far. Can he hit 30 goals this year? That might be important. I will see you after the end of the next season. Oh, come on, Fabio, you can do this. Big developments. First thing, I've gone another season and we've won the league. There you see it. In the season 2023-24, 20, we were able to be crowned as champions, beat Man City by one point. That came very late in the season as well. It was a great season. Fabio Silva scored lots of goals. I'll show you his profile in a second. But what I wanted to do is go a little bit further in this, in this section because I've gone halfway through the next season. We're currently third and not actually having a great season this year. Liverpool have been unbelievable. They've not lost in their first 19 games. We're still pretty good though. If I show you the overall, Fabio Silva is the top goal scorer in the league. He has scored plenty of goals. The reason we've gone a little bit further is I've gone to December. Tomorrow, they are going to award the Ballon d'Or for 2024. And I think, based on this look, I think Fabio Silva might be within a shot of winning it because he's continued to score goals in the Premier League, 36 in all competitions, a great average rating. He's then started this season unbelievably. Of course, if you imagine it, it's from August onwards. About half of this year, he's been so good. 7.47, he's got 18 in 19, 28 in 29 games. He's sort of gone on to another level 
And I think he might be there or thereabouts. I'm hoping that like Lukaku's been really good and Haaland and Lewandowski and some other player's been great. I'm hoping he can challenge though. We are going to continue one more day and find out if he can win it. Because if he can, this would be this would be magical. It's going to be really touch and go though. I think he's going to be up there. Here we go. It's the 31st. I think they award it on the 31st. They do. Oh, I've just seen it at the top and Haaland's won it. He must be close. Erlen Haaland has won it. But he was third. He actually was on the list. He's come third. It's Haaland, then Lewandowski, who plays for Real Madrid now. Haaland's at Man City. Fabio Silva is third in the Golden Ball or the Ballon d'Or. There you see it, look. The average rating, 7.62, 7.77. 7 7.35 for the whole year for Fabio. 39 goals, though. I mean, how can you compete with that? 51 appearances, 52 goals for Haaland. I mean, maybe we've got age on our side in this challenge. He's a bit younger than Haaland. But third, oh, it's not quite going to be possible today. Should we do a part two? You need to let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a part two of this. You can see he's actually been named as a favoured person now now at the club. Maybe as we get towards the end of his career, this is going to be possible. We will continue to keep going. By the way, you might be wondering how we did in the Champions League and a few things like that. We got knocked out by Atletico Madrid in the first knockout round. I think we can go and win a Champions League. And I think if we do that, that's when Fabio Silva will be given the Ballon d'Or. I think a part two might be necessary. That, though, is where we will end it for today's video. A brave effort. You can see his profile there. Look, he's turning into a very good player. Thank you so much for watching, though. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more FM content from myself, you can always jump over to my personal channel. It's just Clates on YouTube. Go and check it out. We've got loads of different types of videos over, over there as well. But thank you so much for watching today. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.